Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be discussing about the third problem of today's weekly contest, maximum score of spliced array. We are given two array, nums1 and nums2, both are of size n. We need to find out the value of maximum score. What is the score? Score of an array is defined as sum of maximum well, maximum of sum of nums1 and sum of nums2. Now we can perform one operation. What is the operation? Operation is take any left and right and swap all the elements between left and right of nums1 and nums2. So for example, let's say these are the two arrays 60, 60, 60, 10, 90, 10. Now we take, uh, we can, let's say we select this index 1. Okay, uh, we just swap these two index. After swapping these two indexes, the first array will become 60, 90, 60. Second array would become six, 10, 60, 10. And if you take the maximum of the sum of nums1 and nums2, you will find the value as 210. So 210 is the score of this particular configuration. And you can see, you can try other possible configurations, but the maximum of all such possible configuration you will get the maximum score of 210 only. So that's where 210 is the answer. Now, how to solve this? First, uh, let's see, like we have these two arrays, right? And uh, we can swap anything between uh, given L and R, right? So for, let's try to like simplify the problem. Instead of saying that we want uh, maximum of sums one and sums two, let's say, we only we can perform this operation, but we only want nums1 to be maximized at a given point of time. Now, once we have nums1, we have found out the solution that after swapping something, we can make nums1 the maximum possible value. We can apply the same process on the reversed array. Basically, we will then try to maximize nums2 instead of nums1. And finally, whatever is the max score of these two configuration, we will output that as an answer. So currently the question is reduced to find like trying to maximize this nums1 by performing one operation. Operation is take any index L2R and swap all the elements of nums1 between L2R with nums2 between L2R. So let's try to analyze what is the gain like what is the actual gain when we swap any indexes like all the indexes between l plus 1 to r okay what is the gain if we swap all the indexes from l plus, l plus 1 to r of nums1 with nums2 okay so let's uh, first this is the current prefix sum like current sum of l plus 1 to r prefix of r minus prefix of l similarly this is the future like this will be the future going sum right because uh, this will be replaced like this l1 s plus 1 to r let's say this is the array l plus 1 to r so this will be going to be replaced with this right so future sum would be this and current sum is the above one so what is the actual gain actual gain is future minus current right so this is the actual gain now if you see here in both the terms or in both the expression there is both l and r right so if you want to maximize this gain like if you want to maximize this gain you have no other choice than to iterate over l and r because for prefix 2 there is both l and r and for prefix 1 as well there is both l and r so there are two variables involved across prefix 2 and across prefix 1 so instead of doing this let's just rearrange the terms so that we get a single index for both the prefix and that way we can we may optimize something so that's a very common trick uh, because you have both l and r in both the expression you have to iterate you can't actually do much you have to iterate over l and r but if you group a single variable in that case let's say if you fix r then this entire expression would be fixed right and what you will be left with is to just minimize this expression which doesn't involve r at all but if you if you have fixed r here 
this expression like you have to think about this expression as well as this expression so this uh, like this would be slightly complex so we just rearrange the term and after rearranging the term we will get prefix 2 of r minus prefix 1 of r minus prefix 2 of l minus prefix 1 of l now let's say we fix r okay so we have fixed the position of r so uh, now for a fix r this entire thing is constant we already know the what is the prefix of prefix 2 of r and we already know what is the prefix 1 of r because r is constant and we know the difference so this is sorted now we need to find out the maximum gain so in a way what we are trying to find out the value of l such that this expression this expression is minimized right why minimized because we want to maximize the gain so to maximize the gain we are seeing that this expression is sub getting subtracted so the minimum we subtract the maximum will be the value right so what we want for a particular r we already know what is the value of this for this value we will subtract something and we want to subtract the minimum possible value so that we can get maximum possible gain now what is the minimum possible value of this this is easy to calculate let's say this is but this is the r so what is the minimum possible value of this expression across these two indexes so this is easy to calculate and you can do that while traversing the array so let's just take an example to make things more clear uh, so this for this array let's calculate the prefix sum and prefix sum is this and for this array let's also calculate the prefix sum and prefix sum is this okay so now once we have prefix sum let's try to apply the algorithm so let's fix r so let's say r equals to 0 okay let's say r equals to 0 now if r equals to 0 what we want is we want we also we already know uh, we already know this expression prefix of 2 prefix 2 of r minus prefix 1 of r, prefix 1 of r. so we already know for 0 this expression is 10 now we want to subtract the minimum value of this so let's denote it by mn okay this is the minimum value of this expression the second expression so currently minimum value is infinity because we don't have any uh, information so minimum value is infinity now let's move ahead and uh, let's take this one okay and uh, or maybe like you can initialize this as well uh, but for now let's move ahead and let's say this is the current index let's say r equals to 1 now if r equals to 1 minimum value is currently 10 like what we have say what we have seen just till now is 10 right so minimum value is currently 10 so we what will be the gain gain will be 0 minus 10 for this index like for r equals to 1 which is minus 10 so does this uh, gain make sense like we have the choice of not performing the operation at all so why would we perform and gain something which is negative so we will not take anything and we will just uh, move forward we will try r equals to 2 okay so now r equals to r, r is equals to 2 so currently the value of prefix of r minus prefix of prefix 1 of r and prefix 2 of r subtracted is minus 10 now what is the minimum value across these two minimum value is 0 right so we'll subtract 0 what is the gain again minus 10 so we will reject this because we already have maximum gain as 0 we can't do anything and gain will be 0 now let's just move ahead for r equals to 3 so if r equals to 3 this value is 0 okay so this value is 0 and we will subtract the minimum across these right what is the minimum minus 10 so 0 minus minus 10 gain is now 10 so see we we got a gain of 10 we will just add like 0 is smaller than 10 so we will we will update our gain to 10 so now last index which is 4 we will do the same thing uh, this prefix of r and minus prefix of r is 10 and subtract this uh, the minimum across here which is again minus 10 so 10 minus minus 10 which comes out to be 20 
and 20 is actually greater than 10 so we will just update our maximum as 20 so this is the maximum gain that we can get by performing this operation so what will be the sum sum will be total sum of the array which is 35 plus 20 so final sum is 55 finally we can make we can make this nums one array 55 by performing one operation and we, ju we just saw how we are done that like we haven't touched the original sum we just find out what is the gain and we are trying to maximize the gain as much as we can for that we fixed a particular r and for every r we try to find the value of this expression which is minimum so for minimum we can we, we want to find minimum on all these positions like all the prefix position so instead of get like iterating every time over the prefix we can just take a prefix minimum across this array and that would give me this particular value so hope this uh, approach is clear let's just look at the pseudo code that will make things more clear so initially we have max gain equals to zero we will calculate the prefix sum of nums1 and nums2 now once we have nums1 and nums2 we will fix r okay now for a particular r we found we found the value of x prefix2 of r minus prefix1 of prefix1 of r now max gain will be max of max gain minus x of min of x like currently min of x is 0 so x minus min of x okay and finally we will subtract min of x by minimum of min of x comma x because if you look at this we we are we want to like for this index what is the value like what is the minimum value of this so it will be minimum across all this right so that's where instead of finding the entire prefix sum a uh, prefix minimum we are just uh, maintaining a variable mean of x that will just count the minimum up till the current index of r now at the end we will get the maximum value of max gain so we will just uh, sum it with the entire sum of the array and return that as an answer so this is what we have done for maximizing nums1 similar thing we will do for maximizing nums2 and max of those two will be the answer so let's just look at the code the code is very simple uh, we calculate the prefix sums and uh, like see we have written a function that will maximize the first array instead of maximizing the uh, sum of both the two so we are trying to maximize nums1 so we found the prefix sum after that we iterate over the array and we take the minimum uh, like the same thing we fix uh, we fixed r that is j is currently r so we found out the prefix of 2 of r minus prefix 1 of r and for this we have to find what is the minimum value of the second expression which is prefix 2 of l minus prefix 1 of l so we will just subtract like we will just take that max like this answer is the max gain in our previous approach so we will just take the max and finally for minimum we will keep updating the minimum so that we have the prefix minimum until now and after that we will just return the sum and with the maximum gain so as we discussed we have we will do this for nums1 and nums2 this will maximize nums1 we will do the same thing for nums1 nums2 and nums1 this will maximize nums2 right and finally we'll take the maximum and return that answer so hope this problem is clear if you have any doubts in the problem please post them in the com comment section below i would be happy to answer if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you